Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to part two of today's stream. We are doing some more of our Sims 2 Pleasant View rotational. And we're gonna be checking in next with um, Daniel Pleasant. So <clears throat> also, I ate my veggies. Well, almost, I have one more tomato to eat. Then I can say I ate my veggies from my little snack platter here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good to Ziki. Okay. No worries, thank you so much, Lunar. So here we go, we're gonna check in with Daniel. So after divorcing, Daniel is um, married with, he's again married with child. Kaylin is pursuing her passion in the paranormal while raising their baby together. Okay, so they have they have two kids. They have uh, Jeff, who's a toddler now, and Gibby, who's the baby they just had last, uh, last time we checked in with them. So uh, we're gonna see what's up now. All right, what are we doing? He wants to reach the top of the athletic career. Was that his, yeah, that's his lifetime want? Okay, well, he's got a ways to go. He's gonna do several things. Five friends, holy crap. Caitlin wants to graduate. Lunar, Lunar, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Girl, you know what that means. Girl, you know, you know what that means. You know. Okay, hang on. Bubbles. That's what that means. Alexa, set timer for one minute. I have to cover my food so it doesn't get attacked by bubbles. There we go. Cover my snacks for a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways. Um, okay. She wants to graduate three children from college. So she needs to have another kid. She has to have at least one more kid. Okay. He's a toddler. Gibby's a baby. Okay. All right. Bubbles. <laughs> okay. Um, what are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. We're hitting play. We're playing. All right. Daniel, you need to get those points. He needs charisma. Okay. He needs charisma. I think... Where do they have a mirror? Oh, they have a mirror up here. Practice your charisma, dude. All right, Kaylin, what are you doing? He, she does want to gain a skill point. You don't need one, though. She wants to... Alexa, stop. Okay. All right, y'all. <laughs> Bubbles. All right. Okay, here we go. Let me fix... Let me stop this. <sighs> Thank you so much for the biddies again, Lunar. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. The bubbles look so good on the new camera, don't they? They look so good. All right. Kaylin, she wants to have another baby already. Good. She wants to invite someone over. Okay. Gain a skill point. Um, okay. The toddler needs to be potty trained. Where's the... Okay. Let's empty this. And then we'll potty train. We'll potty train Jeff. Let's see, do we have time to do we have time to try to get Kaylin pregnant before she leaves for work? Or before he leaves for work? Four, easy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Angel. I think we do. I think we do. Mm. Alright, let's see. Are we gonna get bells? Daniel is such a serial monogamous. Like hooked he hooked up with, you know, he was hooking up with Mary Sue and they had ki they had kids. Now he's hooking up with Kaylin and they got kids. Okay, yes, I know. It's not it's time for him to go to work. But um, but let's try for baby real quick. Just real quick. Okay, bells? Bells? <laughs> Thank you. 
Bells. Bells. Yes. Okay. All right, go to work, Daniel. they have it made. Okay, I can uncover my food now. It's not so many bubbles everywhere. Back-to-back -back babies is definitely a challenge that Kaylin is up for. Okay, they do have a maid. Good. Go give your baby a snuggle. Your oldest. on her own. I didn't even have to tell her. Gibby needs you. Why was the baby on the floor? Oh my god, why is that child outside? Kaylin. Your house is chaos. Ooh. The team's owner has asked Daniel to make some cuts in order to go under the league's salary cap. So also the team can acquire an MVP who's recently shown interest in playing for SimCity. Daniel's team and facilities are stretched as it is, so he's not sure where to start cutting back. He picked up some replacement players from a free agency recently, but they've been showing real promise. He could possibly cut back on team expenses like hotels and first class flights. We're not cutting players. We're cutting expenses. Okay. Daniel decides that promising young players are too important to the longevity of the team's success to do without. So he calls a team meeting and informs his players that in order to avoid letting any of them go, um, and in order to acquire the MVP that everyone's been talking about, the players are going to have to endure some less than ideal travel conditions for the remainder of the season. The team agrees with his decision, and Daniel earns two charisma and two logic. Fuck yeah. Good job, Daniel. Does he need... Okay, so that maxed out his... Okay, charisma. Fantastic. 
so he doesn't have to earn those points now. Good job, Daniel. Good job. Yeah, never cut, never cut employees. Never cut employees. Cut other expenses. Or just don't grow as much, maybe. And a good, another good choice would have been just don't hire that MVP. Oh, he's too tired. He's too tired to potty train. That's okay. We'll just change his diaper. Oh no, you can have your bubble bath, girl. I'm not going to interrupt that. Yay, Daniel's home. Okay. He wants to be friends with Barbara. Woohoo. Okay. We're going to have to put um we're going to have to put Miss Kaylin here on birth control later. Why don't you get some food though? You're hungry, Michael. Thanks, girl. I like discounts. Kaylin's got to go to work. Okay. I guess that's fine because Daniel's home now, so she can go to work. Mary Sue, why are you inside? Whatever, that's fine. I guess she has to tell him that Coral passed. Oh, he wants to resurrect Coral. That's funny. Which one of them's crying? Oh, it's the TV. Oh my gosh, turn that off. Oh no, it is Gibby. Okay, hold Gibby. Oh, Gibby's birthday is only a day away. Oh, we should have a birthday party for Gibby. Let's grow her up. Before the other new baby gets here. <laughs> Thanks for coming to the party, Mary Sue. Happy birthday, Gibby! <laughs> Let's see what kind of toddler she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that! Oh, she's got black hair just like Kaylin. Oh no, wait, that's a hat. Oh no, he's uh, Daniel red hair. He's got uh, Gibby's got Daniel red hair. It was a hat. You need to do some potty training for Gibby. Oh my gosh. It just isn't going through. Come on, get Gibby and potty train. There we go. There we go. <coughs> oh, he made friends with Gibby. Oh, 
Oh, that child didn't get potty trained because they're going to fall asleep. I know we missed the animation for the potty train, so I'm just waiting for the diaper change to pop up for Gibby. She's too sleepy. Okay, I knew that was about to happen. Okay, so let's do change Gibby's diaper and then put Gibby in the crib. And you should probably stop playing with that. Go over here. This poor house. Okay, I think I need to move their toys out to the living room. I think putting them in the bedroom is just not going to work out. Because now that there's... And there's about to be a third kid, like... They're just going to constantly be waking each other up with the toys. Toys can go back there. It's a much better placement. Okay. It's midnight. Can he safely call anybody or are they going to get mad at him for calling so late? So he needs to make friends. Like, he needs four more friends. They just don't have enough. Oh, no, he's there. Okay. Oh, good job, Kaylin. Good job. You're a hypnotist now. Okay, but you have no energy, girl, because you are pregnant and you don't know that yet. But go to bed. Go to bed. And in the morning, we'll have a birthday for Jeff. And then we can move him upstairs, which will be nice. I know he didn't really get any of his toddler skills, but that's okay.
You're a toddler now. You can get out. Oh. Gibby's not really attempting to get out of the crib. That's too funny. Yeah, your parents are asleep. Okay. All right. But it's morning. So, Kaylin, come down. Oh, we can. Oh, I can't delete it. Sad. Okay. I'll put it over there. We'll just have two cakes for a second. All right, bring Jeff to the cake. Oh, Daniel has today off today, okay. Wow, Gibby is a really nice baby, just chilling in the crib. I don't think I've ever seen a baby like that. Usually they like escape the second they can. <clears throat> All right, let's check them out. I hope the third one has red hair. I mean, has black hair, because both of these kids have had red hair. <laughs> I guess the red hair is very strong in Sims. Oh, and there they go. She's already pregnant. Oh my God, I have to put her on birth control for real. Where is... Where is the thing? Oh wait, but I can't because she's pregnant. We'll just have to wait. Oh, they need a gardener. A child went to school with cake for breakfast. Good job. He wants to buy a telescope? We can have a telescope. We're going to let this room also have a door out. Wait, will the bed still fit if I do that? Okay, yeah, it will if we do it like that. Okay, perfect. And then let's put the punching bag over here. We'll put the telescope there. That's a cute bed. This the boy. This boy's bed. Yeah, I like to use this for the boys. <laughs> Come let Gibby out. Potty train. Potty train this child. <laughs> Okay, before you go to work, can you um, repair this shower? I didn't even realize it was broken, but it is. Wait, oh, she's pregnant. Okay, so she doesn't have to go to work. She doesn't have to go to work, yay. Isn't it? 
Sims always eating refrigerator salad. Okay, he still needs to make lots of friends. So let's see if we can call somebody. Let's call Michael. Let's make friends with Michael. Michael Bachelor, come here. I heard, uh, Oh. He won't talk to me. Wait, let's just talk. Okay, now can we invite him over? Uh, can my friend come over too? Sure. Sure your friend can come over. Oh, Kaylin was sleeping in the on the chair. That's funny. Alright, let's do a talk. Let's do a hangout. Come on, hang out with Michael. Alright, this child has like no fun, no energy. Why don't you go take a nap? Oh, we lost a family friend! Wait, why aren't we hanging out with Michael Bachelor? No, we'll hire a gardener, Michael. I'll hire one for us. Yes. All right, get friends with Michael. Yay, okay. I knew that could happen. So, what, he needs three more friends? Yeah, he needs three more friends. Oh my gosh. Trying to get to the top of athletics is really hard, huh? <laughs> Alright, we can say goodbye to Michael. Let's try to potty train Gibby. All right, stop playing. Stop playing for a second, Gibby. All right, Kaylin, wake up. All right, child, you need to have some fun. Oh, but you want to do your homework? Okay. Go do your homework then, weirdo.
Oh, is he not gonna do it? Was Is the punching bag fun? Will he get fun from that? Not much. Okay, you can just go watch TV. Do change to kids tube. There we go. Now his fun's going up. Okay, her needs are looking good. Uh, yeah, Kaylin can talk. All right, just had to have it on the right channel. Okay, now you will do your homework. He wasn't very far from not being friends with her. That's awesome. Okay. What? What? Daniel! Daniel, it's happening again! It's happening again! He's married, but he wants more. He's married, but he just can't be satisfied. Oh my gosh, Daniel. Oh my gosh. What the heck? What the heck is the matter with you? All right, it's midnight, everyone. It's bedtime. Wait, why? No, go to bed. Child, you can't stay up all night and watch TV. The heck. Silly. All right, 6 a.m., time to wake up. Gotta get dressed, gotta go downstairs. No, don't take a bath. Come on now. Over here. Let's see if we can potty train Gibby. We missed it. We missed it. Alright, change the diaper. Can't believe he wants to kiss Barbara just after that phone call. Daniel, you're exhausting. Jenna, you're, Jenna. You have a pregnant wife and two children. This is what happened before. This is what happened before, Daniel. You started having these thoughts. They just went from there. Oh. 
Milena! Keep it so bad, you Alright, wake up and go to school, child. Just because you tried to stay up and watch TV too late. Okay, oh, he just needs one more friend. Just one more friend. Okay, sweet. Alright, let's serve some breakfast, though. Toaster pastries. Because Kaylin just had the last of the leftovers, so we need some foods. Okay, let's try to teach Gibby to talk. Oh, he's playing with the worm rat. Man, Lucy, back off. I can't believe it. Daniel is old and he is still up to his old tricks. He just can't stop. He's like, can't stop, won't stop. Alright, let's look at these. We need to get another friend. Um... I know the relationship's got to be low with this person. Oh, Daniel even hates them, Jessica, because they're a robber. Oh! Okay, well, Gibby's tired anyway. Put him in the crib. Why are you lounging? Oh, let Kaylin do the sweet talk interaction. Wake up, Michael. Let's see, maybe Kaylin has somebody that she can become friends with easier. Poor Kaylin, she really doesn't have any friends. Mm -hmm. Gotta fix that. Ooh. Family Ooh. friends can't be all on Daniel. Oh, but he doesn't go to work again until Friday. Jeez. So he will not get that promotion this uh, for this round. He will not get that promotion for this round. I don't think one toaster pastry is going to be enough. I think she needs the other one. Oh, this little nook. Oh, but it's not really part of that. I was about to say, this little nook has no wallpaper, but that nook doesn't really exist. It's just a closet. It's just a closet. That's why it has no wallpaper. He's home from school! Oh, he wants to jump rope. Okay. Jump rope. 
Oh, he doesn't want to do that anymore. Invite someone over. Okay. Well, why don't you answer the phone then? Uh, no, Kaylin's taking a nap because she's really pregnant. Oh, only only one he knows is Barbara. He hasn't even met any school friends yet. Dang it. Well, what if he invites her over? <laughs> she's not gonna come over. Oh my gosh, she's coming over. She's coming over. The heck. The heck. He wants to eat a chef's salad. I've never seen a child roll that one. What a strange child. Oh no, the TV broke. The TV broke. Daniel, come repair the TV. While your child greets Barbara that you have a crush on. Well, not exactly, but you want to kiss. Go greet Barbara. Will, will he have a water balloon fight with Barbara? Yes. Go, go do it. Go have a water balloon fight with her. I know, I'm trying to get you some fun. Do it, do it, do it, do it. This will be fun. There we go. Why? Why is this family like Barbara so much? It's crazy. Oh, they can't reach the bookshelf. Oh, that's not really sending his fun up very much. Oh, let's stop that and let's... Oh, wait, Daniel didn't repair the TV. Repair the TV. Okay, now you can come watch TV. I'm not going to make them do anything. I'm not going to give them any commands between these two, these two crazies. No commands. Let's see what they do. Okay, his fun is good. How close are we? Oh, we're so close. Come on. Yeah, I taught him to talk at least. <gasps> this poor child about to eat a rotted one. No. Let's see. Get a new bottle for Gibby. Oh, good. It's empty, anyways. Well, Gibby doesn't really need to, isn't really hungry anyway. I don't know why they picked up the uh, the bottle. Actually, let's put Gibby in this crib.
getting late. Say goodbye. Oh, this child fell asleep on the couch. My god. Poor Kaylin. Poor Kaylin. She's an adult, but she had to go to bed so early. Now you can go to bed. Alright, everybody's in bed. Oh, except the child. <laughs> Not the child! Alright, why don't you wake up a little early, Kaylin, so we can try to get this potty, get a potty train on for Gibby. Why do you keep rolling pet wants? Why? Why? You have all these children. You have all these children. This is unnecessary. Oh my gosh. There we go. We did it. What is it, Queen? Yeah? Really? You think they should get a kitty? Oh my gosh. Well, they don't have time for one is the truth. They just, they don't have time. They got all these children's and another on the way. <clears throat> Meow, I know. Kitties are good. But that doesn't mean they have time to really take care of one. This kitty needs 24-7 attention. Queen just loves attention. Insane. You're so cute, Queen. You're so cute. Can he do his homework before school? I don't know if he can. Hopefully he can do it quick enough. Okay, her fun is good. Can't you do your homework on the bus, child? 
Isn't that something you can do? Oh, it's Malcolm. All right, there we go. Oh, he probably has some points. He does. Gibby needs a bath. Oh, hi, Queen. You jump up here. Lucy, did you not shower? Oh no, she's carrying a, a dirty bottle. I thought for a second we had an issue with Lucy not showering. Oh, you need to sleep. Oh, there's no more food. Okay, make some lunch meat sandwiches for everybody, Michael. Oh, he's back down to needing a friend. Kaylin, now that you've slept a little bit. Oh. oh my gosh, it's baby time. Wait, wait, I didn't look. I didn't look. At, I didn't pick out a name. I didn't pick out a name. Hang on, we have to go look at the family tree. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, wait, there we go. <laughs> um, so we don't know anything about Kaylin's parents, but we do have from Daniel. We already named it Jeff Diane. Okay. Let's see. We don't know anything about Kaylin. Let's see. Kaylin. What was her original name? I forgot. Kaylin uh, Sims family. Baby, yes, it's baby time. Okay. The Langerax. Okay, I have to Google it. Kaylin Langerak, that's right. Okay. Yeah, so in Sims 3, she has a father named Dustin and Ileana. Okay, so we're gonna do we're gonna do either Oh, and an aunt named Zelda. A brother named Parker Langerak and an aunt named Zelda. Okay. We're gonna name either we're gonna go with um Zelda. Zelda or Zane. Okay, we're gonna go after Zelda or Zane. Okay. I like her aunt's name. I think that's cool. Okay, here we go. Zelda or Zane for the boy. If it's a boy, it's Zane. It snuck up on me. I thought we had another day. I thought we had another day. Okay, Daniel for the last name. Oh, it's Okay, boy or girl? Oh, Unfortunately, red hair again. It's a boy! Okay. Zane. Is that how you spell Zane? What's the normal... No, it's not with an E, it's just Z-A-Y-N. Z-A-Y-N, okay. Zane! Hey Zane. Okay. Let's um put Zane in the crib first. And uh and then we need to get you on birth control, girl. 
Okay, do I have to click on the bush for that, or do I just do... Uh, let's see. Oh, we need to spawn an adjuster. Um, sim settings. Pregnancy. Birth control. Let's turn on birth control. Yes, okay. All right, no more babies for Kaylin. No more. There we go. Okay. All right, no more babies for this household. We've got three. And for Kaylin's um, wish to be fulfilled, they need to all go to college. We'll see if that happens. We'll see if that happens, but that's enough. Okay, Daniel, there's five children in this neighborhood with Daniel as their father. That's plenty. That's plenty of Sims with Daniel as their dad. Plenty. Okay, let's try to make a friend. Okay, wait, what's going on? Who? Okay, it's Gibby. Oh, but she's out. She's got it. Okay, who's not a family friend anymore? I don't know, but we're gonna... We're gonna talk to Malcolm. Um... I, uh, Why don't you eat, Kaylin? You're hungry. <laughs> Hello, Beef Bandito. Are you new here, my friend? Your name looks uh, new to me. How are you? How did you find me? Are you having a good day today? You can answer any of those questions or none of them. Whatever you prefer. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're having a good day today. I hope you're having a nice, chill, relaxing Sunday. That is always the best Sunday. Okay, let's invite Malcolm over. We should be friends with Malcolm. I'm a newborn. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Do you like Sims 2? That's what we're playing today. This is, um, this is Pleasant View. So Daniel Pleasant uh, and Mary Sue Pleasant got divorced, and he went on to marry Kaylin. You know? What the fuck? Why, Malcolm? We're, but we're... Whatever. Why won't you come over? We'll just talk. It's fine. Probably get friends anyway from just talking. Alright, the child is home from school. As fun as Waylo. So he's gonna watch some TV. Oh, he had an amazing week. Okay, okay, you got friends. Good, good, good. Yeah, but he doesn't go to work until tomorrow, so... Why is she dressed as a maid? Because she is. she was a maid. She was a maid. And then Daniel married her, and then she quit being a maid. Like, she literally was one of the maids of the game. Um, and then... She, uh, cause he was having an affair with the maid, which is how the divorce happened, and then he, then he got married to her. Um, but she's a paranormal, she's a hypnotist now, she's in the paranormal track. Was this the start of a porno? It was. It was at the very beginning. But it's been like, it's been so, so long now. It's been so long now. They have three kids together. Um, it was. Yeah. Daniel was cheating on his wife with the maid, and he got caught, and that's how they got divorced, and then he decided to marry the maid. Oh my god, John Burr is no longer a family friend! Was it Kaylin that was friends with John? No, it must have been Daniel. Let's give Daniel a call and get that friend back again. 
Okay, where's John? There he is. Should not take long to get that friendship out. Oh, I miss I missed the potty train opportunity. Okay, we're gonna change Gibby's diaper. And we need to get a bottle for Gibby. Thank you, Hopeless. Thank you. I wish I was potty trained. Well, you know, it's pretty amazing that you can type, but you're not potty trained. Like, that's pretty, that's pretty amazing. How did that work out? Life must have thrown you some serious curveballs for that to happen. Oh, she's hired. She's too sleepy. One second, you guys. There we go. All right. <laughs> Cut shit all over my hands. You're so weird, dude. <clears throat> oh, you're good. You're good, Lunar. You're good, Lunar. Um, I figured out how to like make everything work now, so it's okay. I can moderate things on my own. Where's baby Zane? Oh, there he is. You have to go take care of the baby Daniel. Oh, diaper change. Okay. Change Zane's diaper. Come on. Three children is so many. Yeah. It's so many. Yeah. More children than adults should not be a, be a thing that people do, but it is. All right. Does Zane, I, Zane probably needs a bottle before we put him back in the crib. All right, she got some of her energy back. You can come eat some food now. Random dude reading my newspaper. All right, Zane can go back in the crib. Okay, what were you doing? There we go. All right, order has been restored. Order has been restored. Oh, we're gonna need an we're gonna need more beds. How are we gonna work this out? Cause this room can really only fit the one, because the way I've got the door. We need three. I guess one can go here. And then one can go here. But then he won't be able to get in. Hopefully. Oh, we'll see. We'll see if this works. I don't think this arrangement's gonna work. I don't know how this is gonna work. Yeah, because I think that's going to block it. But we'll see. We'll see if we can fit three beds like this. I'm kind of sad that they're all redheads. I wish one was had the black hair like Kaylin. Because Daniel's kids from, um, from Mary Sue was also like red hair, black hair, and both the girls have red hair. The Sims 2 have bunk beds? I don't think so. I think you'd have to get... Yeah, no, by default it doesn't. Here's all the bed options. Um, there's no bunk beds. I'm sure that there's mods. You can download bunk beds that probably work, but you probably have to mod the heck out of it to make it work. Because they're not in natively. The 
Bunk beds would work for that room, though, so that would help, but yeah. Wait, you can definitely get to this bed. There we go. I don't know why you were being weird. The kids are in- the kids are asleep, Daniel. The kids are asleep, you know what that means. They're about to have a cute interaction, but then he didn't react fast enough and she ended it. And Grand eats a lot of food. I thought maybe something, there was a repair something in the house, but nothing needs repairing right now. Man, she wants ten kids. This girl's crazy. You cannot have a ten, ten kid want. It's not happening. Bedtime. Is one of the children's already awake? Yes. At least the toddler can get out of the crib on their own. So it's all good. Wait, why is Daniel awake? Oh. Because he's old and he didn't sleep all the way through the night. Okay. These two will, though. It must be strange being like the little baby with the, the elder father. <laughs> like Daniel. You got some diapers to change, Daniel. Can we go? Here we go. All right. It's six. It's six a.m. on Friday. It's six a.m. on Friday, you guys. So that was that round with um with Daniel and Kaylin. So um so yeah. If you are watching the uh, recording on YouTube, if you're watching the VOD, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. And of course, as always, don't forget to make it a great day.